so i have discussed one group of drugs which will cause sympathoplegia that is the drugs which will reduce the central sympathetic outflow next if we see the second group of drugs which will cause sympathoplegia is ganglion blockers is ganglion blockers so if you take this particular ganglion blockers what does this ganglion blockers do and now apart from alpha and beta receptors which are the receptors for the sympathetic nervous system we have the receptors for the parasympathetic nervous system right we have the receptors for parasympathetic nervous system which is a part of your autonomic nervous system this particular parasympathetic nervous system it will act on the following receptors that is nicotinic receptors and as well as muscarinic receptors and you take this nicotinic receptors nicotinic receptors they are again of two types that is nm and the other one is nn right nicotinic receptors they are of two types nm and as well as nn now you take this particular nn receptors these nn receptors they are present on the autonomic ganglia right they are present on the autonomic ganglia now what this particular ganglion blockers will do is ganglion blockers will inhibit this particular nn type of nicotinic receptors that are present on the autonomic ganglia of both sympathetic and as well as parasympathetic nervous system now once this particular nn receptors or an n type of nicotinic receptors once they are being inhibited then the therapeutic effect of antihypertension will come so remember the therapeutic effect is due to decrease in the neurotransmission through the sympathetic ganglia whereas decrease the transmission through parasympathetic ganglia is responsible for the adverse effects like urinary retention and dry mouth so remember this nn receptors which are present in the autonomic ganglia they are present in both in the sympathetic nervous system and as well as parasympathetic nervous system if nn receptors of the autonomic ganglia which are present in the sympathetic nervous system if they are blocked then there will be decrease in the blood pressure of the individual whereas the nn receptors which are present in the autonomic ganglia of parasympathetic nervous system if they are blocked that will result in dry mouth right that will result in dry mouth and as well as a urinary retention and as well as the urinary retention all right next now what are the names of the drugs which are used as the ganglion blockers remember we have two important drugs which are acting as the ganglion blockers one is hexamethonium and the other one is trimethophon hexamethonium and trimethophon are the drugs in this particular group of drugs and these drugs remember they are rarely used why because of the availability of the drugs as such if you take the adverse effects with hexamethonium and as well as trimethophon they have very lesser adverse effects but the availability of the drugs is difficult so that is the reason why they are rarely used whereas among hexamethonium and trimethophon you take this particular trimethophon this trimethophon right this particular trimethophon it is used along with nitroprusside right it is used 
along with nitroprusside as a slow intravenous infusion right as a slow intravenous infusion for hypertensive emergencies in aortic dissection this is a very very important point they are used in hypertensive emergencies in aortic dissection all right so the combination of trimethophon and nitroprusside in the form of slow intravenous infusion it is used in hypertensive emergencies in aortic dissection now we have one more ganglion blocker that is called as mecamelamine right that is called as mecamelamine mecamelamine is a ganglion blocker that is used for smoking cessation this is a very important point right this is used for smoking cessation so this is about your ganglion blockers so ganglion blockers mainly include hexamethonium and as well as trimethophon what does that particular drugs do they will block the nn receptors which are present on the autonomic ganglia and thereby they will reduce the blood pressure whereas you take trimethophon along with nitroprusside whenever it is given in the form of slow iv infusion it is used in hypertensive emergencies in aortic dissection and we have another ganglion blocker which is mecamelamine which is used for smoking cessation